3 million triangles are by a pillar. 400 tri nanite triangles. Apply the changes. Look at it. From 300,000, we went to 4,000. May have overdone it with the size, but you know, that's what she usually says. <laughs> oh good guys, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna have to run like a manager on all of this and fix all these repeating meshes with so many materials. Like look at this, this can be one mesh, one material. Instead of it, we have here a four meshes and four materials. That's eight draw calls at least. And the same thing here, you got so many repeating materials. They actually don't look that repeating, never mind. I'm betting there is still a bunch of repeating ones that could be merged. Texture maps on the same space. Accidental alt? What do you mean accidental alt? That's how it happened. Accidental alt, yeah. I wish. I wish, man. I, I am betting that people just don't know how to do it properly. I see this as almost a standard practice when it comes to a uh, bunch of packs that you import to the marketplace they're just not very well optimized depends like it's, it's really good if you find like a good good creator then that's definitely worth sticking to it because uh, those are rare most people don't know at all how to optimize art assets for unreal or for any engine because these principles are universal uh what's the proper way uh that's actually pretty difficult to say but a uh, rule of thumb you want to minimize draw calls. Actually, for a geometry, which means the triangle count, is actually not that important anymore. Modern computers can generate insane amount of triangle counts, triangles, and you don't really worry about it at all. If you are talking about Quest 2, you could probably get up to a million and still do really well. If you are talking about uh, Quest 1, that it used to be... Like, a recommended remit was like 100k, but it's not true anymore. And it's not true. You, you could have gotten way higher. There's way too many other parameters. So what you want to do is minimize draw calls. Like, additional draw call is gonna cost you usually, in most cases, way more than a few more triangles. Again, depends on the hardware, but in vast majority of the cases, that is gonna be the case. Then uh, you wanna optimize for a material cost. So, uh, excuse me, can I open this material? So, this should never happen. You should never directly uh, reference this specific material. Uh, what you can do, you can just create a master material and all of your assets in your, uh, all of your materials in the project will just inherit from that master material they are, and they are gonna have call textures as a parameters because there is a bunch of stuff in between that you are calculating that are just parameters and you don't have to repeat it every time. Having one master material and from a 500 material instances is gonna save you actually quite a lot of performance. Definitely a good approach. A dual drop is to of course optimize for your vertex and pixel uh, pixel uh, count, instruction count, where uh, you want to basically get these two numbers as slow as possible and this is still very still very good very good numbers don't worry about it at all then you wanna make sure the translucency is as slow as possible then if all of that is as slow as possible you wanna lower the texture resolutions wanna do lod's you can think about lowering a, a triangle count unless you have some really stupid stuff like i have here for example i even know about it i just don't care about fixing it yet uh let's see it's i think it's in these buildings i can actually show you how to profile it while they are at it we can look at our uh, tools audit and statistics this is current textures i have here some 8k texture there's no reason this thing has should be 8k texture it's uh, not even a base color this is just some uh, mask this can be probably 2k maybe 1k and it's gonna look really good no reason this is gonna take so much space in the memory that doesn't need to take a space in the memory resolution can be most of these 4ks can be probably 2k or 1k uh, then if we look at our primitive statistics this is the total amount of triangles that means we have here about 20 million triangles right now and let's look at where it comes mostly from landscape that's kind of reasonable landscape you don't care that much about because it has implemented uh, uh, switching based on uh, distance automatically so if you like look at your uh, wireframe, you just zoom out, the landscape should automatically have the closest idea, the most dense and uh, the furthest area less dense. So there's some automatic switching. That's why it's separated into blocks as well. I just probably need to set it more aggressively. But then what is what is this? The three million triangles are by a pillar and it's just 24 of them. What is that? Why is that a pillar that has like what? This thing has a 400 nanite triangles why do you even need nanite on something like this it's not gonna look better without it what i can do is to get rid of nanite not apply it it's gonna take forever but it's fine okay 4k 400k or one tree uh, one pillar what if i go back uh scroll down here i'm gonna find myself a reduction setting and i'm gonna set it to one percent apply the changes 
Another fun fact, pretty much no need to make LODs manually at this point, Andrew is just gonna handle it by yourself. Nanite is really cool, but most of the times you don't really need it, you just need to properly set up your LODs. Look at it, from 300,000, I heard it was 300,000, we went to 4,000. Uh, 4, Do you see the difference? Huh? No, because there is none. <laughs> there is no difference, it's just not optimized. There is no benefit in having it back, I'm gonna put it back to 100. Look at it, I'm not sure if it's... Yeah, Do you see that small drop? Pretty much no reason, <laughs> it's actually quite insane. And those are super basic stuff that can be very, very easily done, and they're just not done. People get so lazy with models, and then they cry about performance. It's just very, very simple. Spend one afternoon, fix all this stuff, debug properly, see where you ta where, what's taking most of your performance, and there you go. You get boost of 300 FPS. It's actually really funny with performance, because today's computers can run anything. A five years old notebook can run anything, if you just spend a little bit of time with optimization. But because modern computers can run anything, people get so incredibly lazy when it comes to performance. It's so, so incredibly easy. But people just don't do it, because they don't feel a need, because when they are testing it, they have super strong machines, uh, and it always runs great. That's why you make block out. <laughs> Fair enough. That's like, oh, lucky, lucky that I have spent a lot of time developing for Quest. Quest 1, so and mobile phones are uh, with Unreal, so that means you, you, you really can't afford to be lazy. If you are, it's gonna kill you. Quest, uh, we had a limit between 100 to, uh, between 50 to 100 uh, draw calls, which, by the way, means like 50 optimized models. 50 models is not a lot. I have, well, like, what, 10 times of footage just in this, and that's all gonna be deleted, but that's fine. <sighs> that was a bit of a rant there, but yeah, this is something I see a lot, and it's super, super easy to fix. So... Let's see. Let's get back to my solar panels. 